morning everybody. Um, if anyone is on, please let me know if you can hear me all okay. Let me know if the music's too loud. Um, we're just going to do a quick 30 minute yoga class, targeting our body all round and working on our core in the middle. So, whoever's going to work out with me this morning with yoga, grab your mat, grab your water and meet me on the mat. So we're going to start with today with standing on the mat. So bring your hands to heart centre, toes touching. Sliver a space between your heels. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Nice deep inhale. Hold the shoulders at the top. Feel yourself sucking all of your air in. Exhale. Let it go. Relax the shoulders. Eyes can be closed. Keeping your shoulders back. Tailbone. Tongue to Inhale again. Exhale. Release your arm away, side palms facing forward. Welcome. I can't read from here who that is, but welcome to my class. Bring your hands to heart centre. I'm going to keep it to the side so you can see the movement. Inhale. On an exhale, forward fold. Release your hands to the mat. Our face is blocked here. Every one of us is different in our proportion. So maybe you can use something if your fingers don't touch the floor. You can use a block. And you can place your hands on your hips and just forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back facing forward. So hands on hips. Suck the core in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse one low, reach those hands wide to the side, reaching up towards the ceiling, palms facing in. Inhale, on the next hand, gentle back bend, push your hips towards the front, shine your arms towards the ceiling. Maybe look towards your hands. Inhale, come back. Exhale, forward front. Release the hands to the mat, drop the top of your head to the mat. Weights on the front of your feet, on the boards of your feet, all those coming off of your heels, just let your hands hang. Grabbing opposite elbows for the rag doll. Just swing in from side to side, the knees can be soft. Push your hips high. So the stretch of the spine. In the forward fold. So with yoga, we work in all kinds of motion. So if we forward bend, we back with bend. If we work the right side, we work the left side. Release your hands to the mat. Reverse one dive, reaching your hands out to the side. High to the ceiling, palms facing in. Inhale, on the exhale, gentle back bend. So we reverse in the opposite direction of the forward fold. Inhale, come back to centre. Pivot to the side. Palms touching. Interlace your fingers. Inhale. On an exhale, you're going to reach over to the right side. Push your hips to the left. Maybe goes up in the left elbow. Remember, don't make it happen. Let it happen. So inhale. On an exhale, just ease in to your right side. So hands reach to the right, hips to the left. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, reaching over to the right side. Sorry, reaching over to the left side, push your hips to the right. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale. I'm going to turn to the side for you to see yourself, but you stay where you are. Reach your hands towards the back, push your hips towards the front, shine your heart towards the ceiling. Sorry, I just wanted to turn the music down. 
please leave in your comments whether you can hear me okay and whether the music was too loud or too low. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, forward fold. Release your hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, slap back, gaze and forward. You can be on your fingertips, hands on hips, or using the support of a block or a folded towel. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse one dive. Reach your hands high to the ceiling, palms touching, hands to heart centre. Step the right foot to the top of the mat, left foot to the back. Flip the left foot so it's pushing against the mat. Release your hands by your side, palms facing you. Push the right knee over the right foot, centered over your right toes. Hips and shoulders square to the front, you're pushing on that back foot, you can feel the stretch inside of the left thigh. Reach your hands towards the ceiling, palms facing you. This is warrior one. Sink a little deeper as you exhale. So inhale, prepare, exhale, you lift. Inhale. On an exhale, give me a back bend. Shine the heart to the seams to keep your right knee pushing to the front. Start to your right ankle, center of your right toes. Push on that left foot so you're stretching the mat. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, using your core, ears between your biceps, gaze at your right toes. Step the left foot to meet the right. Forward fold, just let it hang, stretch, and breathe. Inhale, reverse long dive. Make this work to the very end. So reach those hands wide to the side from your quads, glutes, and core as you rise, reaching higher towards the ceiling. Palms touching, hands to heart center. Step the right foot to the back of the mat, so warrior one. Sorry, step the left foot. No. Step the right foot to the back of the mat, we're working on the left side, warrior one. So push the right foot against the mat. Left knee sat over the left ankle. Center over your left toes. Release your hands by your side, palms facing you. Inhale, on an exhale, reach those hands towards the ceiling, palms facing you, and shoulders relaxed. Push on that back foot. Keep the left knee set up your left ankle. So inhale, on an exhale, deepen your warrior one. Remember to focus on breathing. You inhale, prepare, you move on your exhale. Inhale, on an exhale, do your gentle back bend. Put your hands towards the back so you keep the left knee pushing towards the front. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, use between your biceps. So using your core here, we're using the left quad, we're stretching the inside of the right thigh. Step the right foot to meet the left. Forward fold, release your hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, gazing forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step back into your first downward dog. So your toes are at the back of the mat. Ears between your biceps, head on your knees, left and right. And we warm up and stretch. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Release both heels to the mat. We want to create a nice deep V shape. Fingers are spread wide, ears between your biceps, chest pushes towards your thighs. Heels release to the mat, or they may be on the mat. It depends on your range of movement within your own joints, within your ankles. Roll forward into a high plank. Hold that high plank. So you want a nice diagonal line from your shoulders to your heels. Shoulders over elbows over wrists. If you want, you can relax your knees towards the mat. You just want to touch, just a little bit of support. If you want to further your practice, you can go into a full plank. Top of the head pointing away from you, you're gazing just beyond the center of your hands. Push back into a downward dog. Push those hips high. 
Give it a stretch. Nice deep inhale. Let it out through the mouth. Let everything out. Let all your emotions come out. Roll forward again. High plank. You can release your knees to the mat. You just want to feel your core and work through your shoulders. You want to feel every muscle in your body. You're doing a high plank. Nice diagonal line from your shoulders to your heels. Go through your calves, your quads, your core, your shoulders, every muscle in your body. Still focus on breathing. Push back, relax in a downward dog. I want you to meet me at the top of your mat, however you need to get there, so you can tiptoe walking your toes towards the top. Or if you want, you can come with me. You're going to soften your knees, push your hips towards the sky, or the ceiling. Inhale, on an exhale, meet me at the top of the mat, the wall side. Place your left hand in front of your left foot. Bend the left knee. Keep the right leg straight, raise the right hand to the ceiling so you can feel the stretch on the back of your right hand straight. Palm is facing the way. Push on this left hand, reach the right hand higher. If you wish, you can place your left hand on your left knee, reach that right hand higher, or you can use the block. Always use the support for you, for whatever you need for your practice. Switching sides, right hand in front of your right foot, and you might need to keep the left leg straight. Raise the left hand to the ceiling, palm facing the way. Look up at that left thumb if you want to deepen this pose. Inhale, move on your exhale. Deepen the right, bend on the right knee, raise the left hand higher. Release both hands to the mat, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, swan dive. Reaching your hands high to the ceiling, gentle back bend. Be mindful, always listen to your edge. Work to the front of your feet, you're pushing your hips towards the front. Shine your heart towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands to heart center. I'm going to pivot to, no, I'm actually going to stand on the side. Release your hands by your side, palms facing forward. Placing the weight on your left foot. Imagine the left foot has four corners. Bring your right leg into a 90 degree bend. Right foot flex. Arms by your side, palms facing forward. Shoulders are back. Just focus on breathing and how you use pose. If you wish, you can place your left hand on the outside of your right knee to support it, to hold your pose. You're also getting a nice twist in the spine. If you want to take it further, release your right hand towards the back, palm facing the left. You're going to hear me out of breath. This is challenging. Balancing takes a lot of breath work, focus and energy. If you wish to take it further, look towards the right hand. Release both hands to the right knee. Inhale, on an exhale, pull the right knee in towards your shoulder. Right foot's flex, squeeze those elbows and biceps into the side. Still gazing forward. Release your right foot to meet the left. Take a breath here, hands by your side, palms facing forward. So place all the weight on the right foot this time, so we work the left side. Left leg comes up into a 90 degree bend, left foot flexed. Arms by your side, palms facing forward. The right leg is straight, it doesn't have to be locked out. Shoulders back, gazing forward, focus on breathing, focus on your inhales. Nice slow exhales. Release the right hand to the outside of your left leg. Take a breath here, feel your balance. Working to your edge. If your edge means your hands are by your side, you're in a nice good bend. That's fine. If you wish to take it further. Left hand on the outside. Sorry, right hand on the outside of the left knee. If you want to take it further, left hand reaches towards the back, palm facing the way. If you want another twist, look towards your left hand. 
This is my foot that I fractured in July, so I'm not as strong on my right side. Move these both hands towards the left knee. You can see how weak my right foot is. Pull your left knee in towards your shoulder, wide in your rib cage. Squeeze those elbows in, use your biceps. Release the left foot to move the right. Arms by your side, palms facing forward. Shoulders back, relax and breathe. Hands to heart center, forward fold. Just let your head hang. Just checking the time, guys, because I tend to go over time. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, gazing forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step back into a downward dog. Take a deep breath here. Roll forward into a high plank. You're going to hold your high plank again. So I'll put the heads pointing away in between your hands. Shoulders, elbows, wrists. If you want, knees can drop and just hover or touch the mat. You want to stay in your high plank. You're working every muscle in your body here. Take a breath. Push back, relax into a downward dog. Inhale, on exhale, roll forward again, working our core, high on those toes, shoulders, elbows, wrists. Top of the head points in the way, focus on breathing. Inhale, on exhale, nice and slow, you want to lower yourself to the mat. So those elbows are going to bend towards the back, controlling it as much as you can. Let it go. Relax the toes flat on the mat, coming onto your forearms. The cobra pose, but we're going to come up into a forearm pose in a moment. So take a breath here, gazing forward, gentle back bend. So we're working in the opposite direction again to your abs, to your core. If you've held the core really tight, it stretches the front of your body, stretching your abs. Interlace your fingers. Still staying on your forearms, so you've got a V shape from your hands to your elbows. Flip the toes into the mat. And come up onto your forearms, forearm plank. Top of the head points away, you're looking at your hands. Try and keep your shoulders over your elbows, just hopping above the mat, high on those toes. If you want to support yourself, knees can be on the mat, just feel where you're working for your core. So you're just going to breathe here. Gaze in towards your hands. Let it go. Just breathe. If anyone wants to join me in my forearm plank challenge, I posted it somewhere on Facebook. Video yourself, challenge yourself, and post it on my page. Relax your hips to the mat. Relax your chest to the mat. That should feel good. Toes flat on the mat. Arms by your side. I know it feels good for me. Right ear on the mat, palms facing the ceiling. You can hear my breath. So take some nice deep inhales, slow exhales, and allow your heart rate to slow down. You can just challenge it in our forearm plank. It uses a lot of energy. You're working every muscle in your body. So you just listen to your breath. You're going to feel your heart, you're going to listen to your heart. Right. And you're going to breathe correctly to bring your heart down. Right. 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 I am teaching this from home. So I'm going to 
occasion it may be an idea. I think I can hear Rod. Ooh, and focus on me. Place your hands either side of your ribcage, palms facing down. I'm going to push back into a one child's pose. So push on those hands. Separate your knees. Bring your hands to the top of the mat. Drop your hands to the mat. Relax your chest to the mat, forehead to the mat, knees separated. Allow your hips to relax. Be nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's not hard. I'm going to check the Anthony Hamilton concert out for sure. I said, I'm going to check the Anthony Hamilton concert out. I didn't know about that. Slow walk your hands okay. back towards your hips. Bring your knees together. All right. Take a breath here. We're just gonna check how we're doing on time with you because I don't want to push you too much. I want to put you off with perfect timing. Place your hands on your thighs, palms face to the ceiling, shoulders back and relax. Reach your arms by your side, palms facing forward. Place your right hand on the outside of your left knee. Left hand reaches to your right heel. Inhale, on an exhale, look over your left shoulder so we're getting a spinal twist here. Again, don't make it happen. Relax on your breathing. Once you're in your pose, still focus on inhales and then exhales. Inhale, on an exhale, look over your right shoulder. So you're pulling on that heel, pushing against your knee, looking over your right shoulder. Bring your hands back to your knees, take a breath, then we switch sides. So left hand on the outside of your right knee, right hand to your left heel. Inhale, on the next side, look over your right shoulder. So you're pushing against your left knee, you're pulling on your right heel. Look over your left shoulder. Slowly come back to centre, hands on your thighs. Nice deep breathing. Slowly rise and do this for camel pose, a gentle camel pose. Hands over sort of your back, fingers facing down. Knees are separated. Inhale, and exhale, squeeze those elbows together, push your hips towards the front, relax your hips, pull your back. Squeeze those elbows together, we're not going to stay here for long, it's just a gentle back bend. Inhale, slowly rise, sit back on your heels. Breathe in. Release your feet towards the top of the mat. Separate your feet. Keep you releasing your legs out to the side, toes are flexed. Reach your hands high to the ceiling, palms facing you. Inhale, on an exhale, forward fold, just reach your hands towards the top of the mat. My back is cracked, it always does. If you heard it, we're all only human. So inhale, on an exhale, feel your hips opening, the hamstrings stretching, just relax them. Slowly rise, bring your feet back together. Pull your heels into your hips. Reach your hands high to the ceiling, palms facing you. In, in, on an exhale, raise those toes to the to the ceiling. The higher the toes, the lower the shoulders, the more you're hitting your core. You're going 
and the treble. What can you call and your quads? So focus on breathing. Maybe gaze at your toes. Release your feet to the mat. Knees bend. Grab an opposite elbow as you pull your head to the mat. Slowly rise. Shuffle yourself towards the top of the mat because after we've done a half boat pose, we're going to use our core to lower ourselves to a short shavasana. Excuse the microphone, I can't lay on the back of that. So this time, hands reaching forward, shoulder height, palms facing in. Pull your knees towards your chest, calves parallel. So you're balancing on the sit back. So if you can see, my hands are parallel with my calves. We're going to use our core to lower ourselves. We're going to use our breath to movement. Inhale. On the next side, push your toes away. Lower your shoulders, hold the pose, not your breath. You're gazing towards your toes. Inhale again, push those toes away. Lower the shoulders. You're reaching towards those toes. You're gazing towards those toes. Inhale, on an exhale, last one, you're hovering above the mat, your heels are hovering above the mat, your shoulders are above the mat, you're reaching towards your toes, you're looking towards your toes. Let it go. Whew. Relax the mat. Palms facing the ceiling. Relax your hands to the side. Allow your toes to fall to the side, your heels. Relax your calves, your quads, your shoulders. Allow your heart rate to come down by gentle breathing. We're not finished yet. Pull your knees into your chest, half out your knees. You're going to roll from side to side just to massage your spine and allow the spine to be flat on that. We're going to work the core for the last time. Release your arms by your side, palms facing down. Push those toes up towards the ceiling as though you're standing on the ceiling. Toes flex towards your chest. Inhale. On an exhale, you're going to slowly lower your heels to the mat. Arms by your side, palms flat on the mat, shoulders flat on the mat. As you lower your heels to the mat, you're going to feel your core hitting. Listen to your edge. Nice and slow. Let it go. Relax your heels to the mat. This is it. Just lay there. Just relax to the mat. Relaxing every muscle in your body. Focus on your body then, keeping the mind clear. If your mind starts to wander and think about the outside world, just come back, focus on a deep inhale and let everything go on your exhale. So sigh and relax every muscle, every tissue, every fibre every thought in your mind and body. This fingertip should be relaxed, your toes. Roll over onto your left side. Right hand supports you. Pull your knees in. Fetal position. The last part of your Shavasana. When I teach at the Marriott Hotel, um, we're on a terrace over in Kim Beach. Sometimes it's lovely to see people. I get great pleasure in seeing people remain here and really giving in to what they need, just letting everything go. Sometimes we need to be tough to let it go. This is your time for you, for no one else. So I'm telling you, I'm giving you the time to give 
Use your right hand to push yourself up into the seated position, legs crossed. Hands on your knees, shoulders back and relax. Nice, deep inhale. Don't be afraid to let it out. So inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Feel your diaphragm moving, but keep your shoulders down so you're feeling all of your lungs. Let it out. Now we use the next few moments, the next few breaths. Don't think about it. The shoulders back, relaxed, eyes can be closed, and just breathe. Always honouring yourself, be giving time to yourself. The teacher in me honours the student in you. It's a pleasure to teach you on this Facebook Live. I will post the event for tomorrow and later on, describing what class and what time. Always remember to give time to yourself, to your mind and your body. Um, also, as I've said in one of my other classes, if you want to try some of my other classes on YouTube, or you can go on my website um, and try the free ones. Or actually, I am going to change my subscription channel to free, to be in free. It's usually $39.99 a month, unlimited classes. But I'm going to switch that for free for now. So they will also be available. So keep checking my YouTube. And also check out my website for my subscription channel to free. Um, my website is www.yogawithalib.com. Also, don't forget to place any comments or suggestions on this post or message me. Um, other than that, have a great Sunday. And um, I will post tomorrow's event time and class later. Other than that, I will see you on the mat tomorrow. Namaste and happy Sunday. And now you get to see my face, my ugly face in the camera. And guys, I can't see you on because I can't read with that glasses. So, no, I, I Hi, Matthew. Did you do my class? Hey, tomorrow. Bye.